An overview of real-time sound synthesis of aeroacoustic sounds using physically derived models, research by Rod Selfridge. What is an aeroacoustic sound? This video gives a good demonstration. It is the sound generated by the interaction of an object and air. The research objectives are create real-time synthesis models which are highly suitable for non-linear media, like games, to identify the pertinent physics as a result of research into fluid dynamics and finding out how the sounds are generated to meaningfully parameterize the models so they relate to objects and observers, which could be set by a game engine. Make the models mathematically accurate. And to evaluate the perceptual authenticity through listening tests between those models, samples and other synthesis methods. As air passes around a cylinder, vortices are shed, and this creates a sound known as the aeolian tone. The equations that have been identified relate the air speed and cylinder diameter, which gives the frequency of the tone. The gain is calculated from the length, distance between source and observer, as well as the azimuth and elevation angles. In fact, I think I'll watch the trailer now. Ah, look, the mist is clear. Aeolian tone model is a compact sound source. By placing a number on a line, we can create a sword sound effect. By adjusting the parameters, we can create the sound of a baseball bat. A new adjustment can create the sound of a golf club. A string has its own natural vibrating frequency. When this or one of its harmonics matches the vortex shedding frequency, a frequency modulated sound effect is produced. This is shown in the Aeolian harp. This is our model with two strings. Adjusting the nodulation index. And now adding more strings.
In the propeller model, we have a tonal sound due to the rotating propeller. We have broadband sound due to the vortices being shed. And an added engine sound.